So I am on the last of my 70th Harbinger map right now. I have the map in inventory. Uh, same thing I've been doing. Atlas strategy will be in the description. And I'm going to get this done. This is the showcase for the loot and results of uh, 70 runs. So I've doubled each time. First time I ran 10. Next time was 20. And uh, this time was 40. So next one will be 60. And uh, that's a lot of damage. I've done a couple upgrades here um, to this. I, I didn't know how much I was going to do to this character. And I only did a, um, I only did two in the last uh, 70, and those two cost me 34 divine. So um, I no longer have a life flask. I'm running Dying Sun. The amount of projectiles I'm shooting out while it's active is equivalent to having a, basically a life flask. So, um, yeah, that's added in. And then I added in a very nice cluster, not cluster jewel, very nice just crimson jewel, I think it is. Corrupted blood, critical strike, freeze, re extra resistances. It's pretty solid. So uh, that jewel cost 10 divine and the uh, dying sun cost 14 divine. So um, I, I guess I was off. Of, oh, I spent some on a base that I'm not a bow base, which I'm working on crafting. But so the uh, so it was uh, sorry, 24 divine is what the cost was, not 34. It was off. Uh, I tried a couple things, and I definitely on this character prefer to run um, the Eater of Worlds over Searing Exarch. The flask stuff really messes with this character, and I don't like to experience that. And then uh, without with a lack of generation for life, the uh, ones that grant chaos damage over time are basically untakeable. So, or during like a chaos damage during flask effect. Yeah, it, it's basically undoable. So I, this one only has two that I can't really do. I don't care for, there's one that does um, less critical strike multiplier per frenzy charge. I'm not a big fan of that one. And um, there might be another one too. I take most of the rest of things, assuming the, uh, Um, oh, there's the critical strike one for power charge. I, the resistance one doesn't matter at all. Um, what else? Yeah, so I, I'll basically take almost every single mod from these. And yeah, we'll take that too. I just don't like the, as I said, I don't like the one that I just mentioned. Three orbs are just useful, so I will take them. They don't drop. Uh, too frequently. They don't not drop either, though. Gone pretty fast at doing these. I'm at uh, maps mostly done right now, I think. Uh, there could be a ton of Harbingers sitting up there. I've, um... But I've cleared the majority of it. Alright, let's turn my... Another Harbinger. And there's the end of the map. We've gotten very fast at doing these, including talking. Oh, I just about died right there. Including talking, I've uh, taken so far four minutes and 34 seconds. And I can kill these big Harbingers much, much faster now that I, uh, with that, with the dying sun in place. So my life back up to full there and one more real orb. all right nothing impressive on this map i am close to leveling which will be level 96 that'll be nice uh take so it's taking me a while to get there i was 
I actually, when I removed the life flask and replaced it with the, uh, the dying sun, I thought that I would potentially uh, die a lot more frequently. Instead, I've died less. So I think the more projectiles, oh, it is. It's the more projectiles plus the um, uh, plus like life, life leech and life gain. It uh, it does a lot for the build as a whole. So. Uh, toss the bit of loot here in the tab. I need to record that I got 18 chaos. One, two, 38. That goes here, 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 here. I don't know why that was there. Move this over here. Looks like I don't need to record those, so we'll put them I don't need to record that. And four maps. All right, so loot is, this is all the loot I've uh, gained from uh, the 70 maps. Uh, this is every single bit of it, with the exception of bubblegum currency map and chaos. Chaos I just tossed in the tab. I didn't feel like messing with that. I counted it in the spreadsheet and the maps. I also uh, counted all T16 maps. I did not count anything lower than T16. So I have completed the uh, categorization of loot here. And this is what I came up with. I am at um, 22.63 divine per hour. Uh, I encountered two mirror shards while doing this. And um, I could take those out so we can see what it looks like without it. 12.35 divine is where it seems to sit at without the uh, mirror shards. And the mirror shards bring it up to 22. I think that, I, I don't know how, I don't know anything about the frequency of drops from, from the mirror shards themselves. Uh, the two that I had dropped off of an obelisk and um yeah i don't know that's why that's what i found so i have n i have no idea how frequently that occurs um if it's i mean how many how many maps i would need to repeat that so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to leave that in because this is this is the loot that i actually have um that being said i would say i wouldn't call this strategy a 22 divine per hour strategy unless I would be encountering these every, uh, well, it looks like I'm guessing based on what happens here, if I could like extrapolate the information just a little bit, I got two shards and 70 maps. So I'm guessing it's like every 100 maps and in a hundred maps, I'm encountering over a thousand harbingers. So um, that's roughly the rate that I get, I would be getting them at. That is a, pure guess though. So I am not overly sure as a whole. All I know is uh, I'm happy with the drops, happy with the results. I've had fun running it. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, post the uh, link to the spreadsheet in the uh, description. If you want to take a look, you can. I'm going to screenshot this and uh, shove this in here under the 40 runs. But that's what I came up with. It's time to sell all this off. And it looks like it's showing me I should have about 132 divine uh, based on what I have in the inventory right here. But that does include the chaos orbs, which is 1,238. Those are already floating around in here. And I had to record them out here because I used them to sustain to buying the scarabs. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That's where I'm at. Well, and I guess uh, that'll be about it for this video. So uh, if you have questions, comments, um, yeah, feel free to drop them below. Thanks for watching.